Step one, wake up brother gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good. Hello folks, this is Gigi on a budget. Welcome back. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's time for a Friday chat. Today, uh, Gigi's got a mudslide, uh, which is Kahlua, vodka, and Bailey's uh, crushed ice. Don't taste bad, but you know what? I think I need a straw. I'll be right back. Here we go. That's better. Not bad. In the 80s out here in Arizona, so it's not like it's real cool out here or cold. It is much nicer than it was. But anyway, nice drink. Kind of get ready to relax. Fearless Friday. You know what they say. Fridays you can be bold and brave because it's Fearless Friday. But I say you be bold and brave every day. That's how we should be living our life. Let's not let anything hold us back. Yeah, right, Gigi. That's easy to say. I know. I know. Took me a long time to figure that out. But I'm just suggesting Fearless Friday. How's about that? I like that. Let's do Fearless Friday. <laughs> So, anybody got plans out there this weekend? Let's see. Gigi, let's see, what did Gigi do? Oh, it was my, uh, it was my daughter. My daughter got married, uh, her and her husband got married on Halloween. They celebrated eight years of wedded bliss. Happy anniversary, Stacey Dominic. Cheers to you. Love you. Uh, Wednesday, went down to my folks. You know, <laughs> sometimes things just do not go as planned. Just as I planned. You plan? I have a cricket because I do plan. I do paper craft well, planners. So I like to decorate my planners. You know, put little stickers. So I, I have a cricket, but I got a small cricket. My mom's got a large cricket. She hasn't really utilized it yet. So I went down there thinking that uh, I can show her how to use it. Make sure my mic's on. Okay, let me back up here. Jet. I don't know what she's barking about. Probably we're starting to leave the front doors open, so sometimes she just gets crazy. But anyway, you know, <laughs> I thought everything was fine, looked good, and then I had already uploaded it. And then when I heard my clip, Gigi, what are you doing? Didn't sync up, it was out of line. I'm thinking, you know what? This is just the way Gigi rolls. Gigi's learning something new every day. And this is what I've learned. Do not do editing after a dental appointment. Not a good thing. <laughs> so I figured I'll just tell the story when I come back next Friday and let everybody know what happened. Because Gigi don't want to be doing that. You know, she's trying to get it together here. You know, first there's no card and there's no mic and then there's no line. Ba da ba da bing bing bing. You know. And uh, <laughs> when I usually I check, it looked fine on my little monitor until I played it on the TV and I said, like, "What the heck, Gigi? You're at us. What? What is? Is it? Just leave it. They wouldn't expect anything less. I'm hoping you would expect more." <laughs> You know, it's all a work in progress. I'm still trying to figure it out. And the fact is, I come back and I'm doing it again because it's Fearless Friday and that's just the way Gigi rolls. And she wants to try to, you know, make sure to let everybody know what's going on, stay in touch with you, do our saving challenges, continue to save money because we're going to Aruba, blah, 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 blah. That's all I want to do here. So anyway, <laughs> I figured whoever my followers are, my followers are, and you know who you are. Uh, you get Gigi, and you know what's going on, and Gigi's cool, and it's all okay. And do not edit after a dental appointment. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you see, I, I think I talked about going to the dentist last time when I was flossing, and then I felt something move, and I asked Big Dog, you know, uh, did my feeling fall out? And he goes, oh, no, it's right there. Just tap. So I tap. Sure enough, went back in. So finally got into the dentist. Friday, he was a good guy. Ends up, I need to have a root canal. And apparently, I have TMD. Um, because, uh, which has to do, and it's not like TMJ, which is a jaw issue as well. But TMD has to do with your jaw wanting to dislocate. And apparently, I'm also biting down on my teeth, which, uh, 
You know, when he asked me, because, you know, my daughter, she grinds her teeth, so she has to wear a guard. And uh, he goes, do you grind your teeth? Nah, Gigi don't grind her teeth. What you talking about, Doc? He goes, do you bite down on your teeth? Nah, Gigi don't do that either. What you talking about, Doc? Well, as you're sitting there talking to me, I can feel myself biting down on my teeth. <laughs> so then I started thinking back, and I'm thinking, and I told him, I go, you know, I think I used to do that quite a bit when I was working, especially during the COVID years. You know, because as an office manager, you just have to kind of let people come in and say what they need to say and, you know, you dust them, dust them off and send them back on their way. But they need to have a sounding board. And sometimes, some of the things Gigi hears, like, what, what, what? But you just have to allow them the opportunity to speak freely. And I always kind of been the kind of office manager that wanted everybody to know or I wanted my team to know that they always had a safe space to come and talk to me and share whatever they needed to share you know and if there was an issue that I needed it to uh, needed to take, take take care of I would let them know well you know I'm gonna have to do something about this so you know I think they thought that it was pretty fair and pretty reasonable um the fact that I've been able to maintain a, really turned into friendships with the number of people uh, after I left, tells says something about me as a person, as also, you know, that I, I, I thought I was a fair manager. But anyway, when he's telling me that, I I, I knew that's what I was doing. You know, I, I clamped down just to kind of like, be quiet, Gigi, let them say whatever they need to say, listen, listen, listen. And, uh, but I don't need to be doing that anymore. <laughs> but then what happens, like anything else, it turns into a habit. You know, so now anytime I feel myself on a group, I open my mouth. <laughs> so I wear, I have to wear, uh, so he's getting me a night guard, so I'll be wearing that at night. Because now what's happening is that it's cracking other feelings. So I want to try to save my teeth. and So anyway, but the whole point of me telling you this story to begin with, do not edit after having gone to the dentist is what I'm saying. But other than that, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, now I'll get back to Wednesday. <laughs> Let me have a drink. So, like I was saying about the cricket, fast forward. When I got a small joy, I finally, that thing was so freaking hard to figure out. I was, when he first got it, my, my son and, and his wife, you know, they were so nice. Um, because Katie has moved on to another piece of machinery, I guess, is bigger than the one that, that she gave me and my, my mom. So, it was a joy and a cricket, a air explorer. I don't know, my phone's going like bonkers. Uh, Explorer Air 2 or something like that. So I told her, you know what, go ahead and give my mom the big one. I'll take the little one, you know. And I, But it took me so long to figure that thing out because then I didn't have borders, then I had borders, and finally a process. So I finally got it, got it figured out. So uh, so I do my, you know, my little, maybe I put a couple, couple of spreads there, you know, because uh, I've always been one to journal. And I've always been one to have a to-do list. And it's something that I've just kind of continued to do as far as working, you know, out of a planner. I didn't do all the decorating. That came um, probably about a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago. My mom was the one that knew about Happy Planners. And she, we were talking about it. And I go, oh, I thought it was kind of cool. You know, so then I started doing it. So for me, it's just a, a, a creative outlet, you know. Um... So, uh, you know, I do that. I do my videos. I do saving challenges. I do photography. I go to school. <laughs> Big Doc says, you don't know how to retire. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, aside from that. So, anyway. So, Wednesday, we were finally going to go ahead and get her set up and get it going. Because I'm thinking, what? It can't be that much different than the machine I'm using. Because it's, it's just a bigger machine. So we get it going, and where we're at, we don't always have great Wi-Fi. Sometimes, when we first moved out here, T-Mobile, oh, we had Verizon. We couldn't use Verizon out here. Sorry, folks. Gigi's getting thirsty. We couldn't use Verizon out here. So we, we actually moved um, or converted over to T-Mobile. And when we moved over to T-Mobile, they actually gave us like a, it's not a router, but it was uh, something to enhance the signal. 
and that worked great. And T-Mobile eventually ended up putting um, a tower not far from where we're at. So we don't even have to use that anymore. But if you have Verizon out here, you're going to have a heck of a time. The signal out here is, is really poor. But if you have T-Mobile, it's great. So anyway, um, the machine, of course, has to, the Cricut has to, of course, uh, talk to the printer. I cannot get that printer to to talk. I can see the Wi-Fi searching, searching, searching. So I wanted to make sure it wasn't the laptop. So then I used, because uh, she had two of the laptops. She's got a, a older HP. You know, I think it runs with Windows 10, so it's not really that old. It's not that bad. Pretty pretty nice look uh, laptop. And then she got a Google HP, which is a whole different type of computer. <laughs> so... Uh, after resetting and canceling and restarting that printer, I couldn't get it to go on her HP. I went ahead and tried the Google. Well, the Google could not see that printer either. So I told her, I go, it's, so then I got my Cricut. I'm thinking, Gigi, you're not going to be able to see the printer. And of course, it didn't see the printer because there's a reason. I'm not quite sure why it couldn't connect. So... Uh, I think, so I was never able to get her going on the cricket. I was there for three hours trying to get that thing set up. I could not get it. So, uh, uh, but that, that machine is a little bit of a beast. So I'm going to do a little more research on it. You know, YouTube, uh, how to. <laughs> you know? But I I think I got it, but uh, I just could not get the printer to uh, to link up to that uh a laptop so I think what I'm going to do now is move because it could just be a dead spot you know it's in the corner of her office maybe that's just a dead spot move the computer move the computer move the lap jeez Gigi move the printer and see if um that helps so you know she said well I just need to get another printer I go well yeah but is it a dead zone right there we need to find that out so that's the next thing so anyway that was my Wednesday and um uh, Thursday, just kind of piddling around the house, you know, doing some schoolwork. Uh, uh, finished a test on Monday, because every Monday I have to submit a test. So, still carrying an A. Yay! Still doing good. But now we're going into, like, you know, video video games and uh, the technology about video games. And, you know, uh, understanding the different platforms and... That was a harder, <laughs> harder chapter for me. The next one was about social media, about culture, and understand that I was that I felt good about, you know. So this one, I think it has to do with public relations and the media and communication. So I don't, uh, that's a fairly new. Uh, I haven't read the chapter yet, so I'm gonna have to read that. But anyway, Monday did my test. Friday, uh, today we we're getting ready to because uh, there's a community uh, garage sale out here, so be doing that tomorrow but today is somebody's birthday today she turns seven there she is right there that is big dog's puppy dog that is jet so it was a birthday girl today so you know we had to sing her happy birthday we had to get her some ice cream she was a rescue dog uh that we got uh about six and a half years ago seven years ago yeah, probably six and a half years ago because uh, she was six months when we got her. We were just very lucky when we found her. You know, we went to the animal control and she was so cute. Because I'm not used to a big, well, to me she's a big dog. She's not a big dog to big dog, but she's a big dog to me. Because I was used to like 30 pound dogs. <laughs> she's like 60 pounds. But uh, she's smart as a whip. Pretty dog, you know. So we had to celebrate her birthday. So there's a little clip. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jed. Happy birthday to you. Yay! You want to blow it up, big dog, for her? Celebrating her birthday. But overall, it's been a, a good week. Oh, uh, the weekend. We finally got it. We have been saving uh, for an umbrella, patio umbrella, because our slab is pretty open, our patio out here. We have a patio, but then we extend it out, and we didn't have anything, and sometimes uh, any kind of cover. And sometimes these Arizona heats, if I'm sure most people know, it can be pretty dry and, and hot. 
So um, we finally got uh, an umbrella. I'll put a picture of us with our first first session out there. It was, uh, Big Dog had a cigar. I had a drink. And it was a nice evening. We had the lights on. So it created a nice ambiance. So it's uh, it's very nice. It's really nice because now the, the evenings are getting nicer out here. So we just sit out there and chit chat or have a drink. Whatever you want to do. You know. Um, so that was nice. And it's because of, you know why? saving challenges. So let's go ahead and start getting to it. Let's quit talking GG and let's get that down to business here. So here we go. So let's go ahead and open up my binder here. So we have, oh, hold on. I'm back. I had to get my uh, castle to hold my money. So let's take out our challenges here. What are we going to do? Ghostbuster. I hope everybody had a nice Halloween. We had uh, went to a folks' house for Halloween. Uh, had pizza and wine over there. Because when I was raising my kids, we always had uh, uh, pizzas, you know, um, before they would go to uh, trick-or-treating. And it's just something that we've always done. My sister, in fact, she lived, uh, when we were in California, she lived further, uh, she lived up in the hills. So they didn't really have a lot of neighbors go trick-or-treating. So they would sometimes come to our place. And then eventually, uh, my mom moved up there, and so we, you know, had the kids uh, trick or treat in our in our neighborhood. But anyway, that was nice. I went down there, had some wine, had some pizza. You know, my mom likes that. We enjoyed the time, so it's nice. So anyway, here we go. Hundred envelope challenge. That's right. Our monthly saving for Aruba, big dogs. We're also going to do my fifty envelope challenge. We're going to finish Amazon No Spoon. And I think, uh, I think I'm going to try to do the $10 challenge. We'll see what happens. Let's see what I have left over. Because I can't remember if I was able to put 10 away for that. I can only think so much. All right. So we'll put this to the side. We'll put this over here. Oh, was it that my, my Wi-Fi got disconnected? Yeah, I think my Wi-Fi got disconnected too. So I was like... Do not try to edit after you've gone to the dentist. That's my saying for the day. Aside from being Fearless Friday. <laughs> All right. This cowboy up. Right? Here's Cowboy Jim. Cowboy Jim. Come on, let's do a little introduction. Come on, Cowboy Jim. Yes, keep going, Cowboy Jim. Keep going, keep going. All right, okay. Set it, set it. Say hello, Bruce. Hello, Bruce. Hello, Bruce. There's my dancing sharky. Yahoo! Hello, Pearl. Hello, Pearl. Hello, Pearl. All right. So who's going to bring... Uh, Pearl brought us some money. She brought us $83. We're, we're rocking it on this, uh, this challenge. I think I was telling Big Dog I might be able to pay off um, the room today. Thirty-eight hundred. That's the number we're looking for. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what is happening here. Let's see who's gonna bring us some money. And oop, not Pearl. Don't run into the homies, Pearl. Not Pearl. Pearl's not bringing us anything today. So that must mean it's Bruce. Come on, Bruce baby. Come on, Brucey baby. It's Tiffany. What it used to call you? <laughs> Come on. Come on. What are you doing over here? Come on, Brucey baby. Brucey baby. Woohoo! All right, you got a load there, I guess. Thank you, Bruce. Let's see. Oop. That is. Get critters out of here. All right. Before we do the unveiling, that is pretty good. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. Because we got, we're kind of like all over the place in this thing. So we've been getting some bigger numbers because really that's all that's left. <laughs> so let's see. 20. 60, 80, oh, pff, GG, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 92 buckaroos, mm -mm 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 -mm. thank you Mr. Bruce, Mr. Bruce, Mr. Bruce, eh, we like Mr. Bruce, thank you very much Mr. Bruce, alright, 92 buckaroos. We are getting it. 
We are getting it done. All right. So let's see here. Let's see what we got. Oh, money, money, money. More money, more money, more money. Where's the money? So let's put this in order. And then we'll um, figure out what our new total is for this bag. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to the bank soon. So that, oh. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty if you're making it work for you. If you're not making it work for you, then uh, it's not so pretty. But when you can make it work for you, and it can accomplish a goal, and it can do something for you, it's like, wow, that's what it's all about. I was telling somebody and some other group that I'm on on Facebook that I'm, I'm seeing money. Money's really a two. And, uh, but you really want it to be a two for good. A tool for good. There you go. Don't start getting me on ranting and raving. <laughs> So anyway, if um, you don't know what that means, look at the other video. <laughs> so anyway, and that's what this is all about. So that's, that's nice. Okay. So let me go ahead and update our card here. We did our little spreadsheet, our little envelope. There was 92. So 92... Three ninety two. So one eight nine zero plus ninety two nineteen eighty two. Boom. We like Bruce. <laughs> nineteen eighty two. So this time Gigi Smart she got a little piece of paper here because we're gonna have both bags together. Nineteen eighty two. Plus, going to be close, going to be close. All right. Love it. Love it, love it. All right. That's one bag. Let's get the other bag here. Aruba. That's why I got the bag. So now, make sure I get everything out of here. Make sure that all this money is okay. Make sure it's in order. Yep. So now we need 75, 50, that's 70, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. So this one has 1725. So 1725 plus 1725 plus 75 equals 1800. So 11, 3. 75, 1800. Oh, I don't know. So 1800 plus 1982. Look at that. 3782. We're just like not even $20 away from paying off the room. 3782. 3782. Wow. That's great. 37.82. You know, I was telling Big Dog, it's like, I'm saving that money. It's like, oh man, what else can I do with that money? <laughs> but what, it, and I think I've said this before, I think what it's proving to me is that I can do this. It's not really hard. You just got to be mindful. You got to be mindful what you're doing with your, mon your money. You got to pay attention to where your money's going. You know, and I know sometimes, you know, we're in situations that we can't help, you know, something comes up, emergency comes up, medical, you know, living, household, whatever. I, I get all that. I understand. We need tires on, on the truck. You know, I get that. But, and sometimes things come up that are unexpected. I get that. You know, but the thing is, you take care of that and you get back onto plan, you know, and that's what makes the biggest difference. Because the thing is, we can just allow whatever uh, happens to distract us from staying on track and then 
you know, then we're back to where we were before. But you got to continue to go back. Look, I haven't always stayed unfocused. The one thing I'm staying focused on is freaking Aruba thing because I know big dogs looking at me and I better get this taken care of. <laughs> it was my thing. <laughs> but he is, uh, he's right there with me. But um, it, it, you know, it tells me the importance and reminds me when I see a number like that, that, you know, you, really we can do anything. You know, just got to stay focused. So I'm really looking forward to starting, because I haven't even been doing this for a year. I didn't start to like April, April, May. That's what, April. So I haven't even done this for a full year. You know, and I, I tell Big Dog, I wish, you know, and there's nothing you can do about what should have, could have, would have, could have, should have. That's past. That's like he says, rear view mirror. But I could still like, I still like to say, I wish I had known about this, you know, earlier. But the thing is, I don't know whether or not I would have had the time or the energy to be able to do it. I would have been so much further ahead. We both would have been because, you know, just learning about a high yield savings account. All those little things are helping build, you know, the savings that we have and the things that we want to do. You know, so uh, the thing is, any changes you made now, if you're a good place now, and then you try to make changes, who knows where you're going to be at now? You really don't. Because then, like, okay, now I'm going to another tangent. We were talking about that this morning. It's like, okay, let me stop. <laughs> you know, I've heard these people say, uh, write in a letter to your younger self. You know, um, what, uh, if you knew then, what you know now, what you changed, what you did then. You know, I'm 65 years old. And, you know, there's some, you start... I find that you start to be a little more reflective, you know, about things, people, situations, and so on. Think back. And like I've told Big Dog, I go, you know, I don't know if I would change anything because I don't want to be here with you because, and he's a good guy. I I'm, I'm, I'm feel very blessed to have, have him in my life and for us to be together. We've been together now. It's going to be uh, going on 18 years, you know. Um... It, it would not be the same if, you know, it's like that movie Benjamin Button. One little thing changes. You know, you do something different, the whole thing changes. You know, so I can't say. I told the only thing, and even then I hesitant to, hesitant to say it, is that I wish that, um, um, what's the word that I, I, I told him? I, oh, I told him, I wish I wasn't so hard on myself because I figured I needed to take care of everything. I needed to take care of shit. That's what I did. I took care of shit. You know, personal and, and in business. I took care of shit. <laughs> like, excuse my language, but that's what I did. And I told Michael, and, and then, you know, I'd be hard on myself about decisions I made as well. And I told Michael, but if I did that, the energy would be different. And who knows what would have been drawn into my circle at that time. You just don't know. You don't know what you don't know. You do what you can do. And you do when you And when you know better, you do better. You know, that's all we can say. But anyway... Not sure why I started on that tangent, but anyway, that's what Gigi does here. Talks about life. So anyway, let's just get back to same challenges. <laughs> Thirty-seven eighty-two. That's cool. I got a thousand dollar place card in here. That's cool. Thirty-seven eighty-two. So let's do a little money here for a big dog, and he gets fifteen. <clears throat> And here we go. We're going to color one of his planes here. And another plane for him here. That's cool. Did I tell you that this drink is pretty darn good? <laughs> if you haven't tried it, tried it. Remember, one part vodka, one part Kahlua, one part Bailey's, throw on some crushed ice. I blended it. You know, some people will not have, will just have it over ice. And some people have blended. I like it blended because it's almost like a little shake, but that's darn good. Anyway, so another, let's see what he's got here. And I know I put some place cards in here too. So let's add up his number here. He should have, 
what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. 26 times 15 equals 390. Let's make sure. It's 3, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. <laughs> okay, Gigi. Let's do this again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's 5. 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 25 plus 26. So 26 times 20. I G G. 26 times 15 equals 390. Probably where my extra 10 went that I was looking for earlier. <laughs> One. So let's let's use the calculator so you won't get confused because you know Gigi has math trauma. Anyway, here's 100. Here's 200. So here's 300. Here's a 20. 10. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Now, how did I come up with 60? <laughs> okay, I'm going to count it one more time. And I'm still off, and I'm going to have to go off camera, let you know what happened next week, okay? <laughs> okay, so here's 300. Do it again. 3, 20, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Yeah, there's 360 in here, so I'm short. I don't know what happened. So we're going to make sure that he has the correct number in here. I'm Gigi. Get together. It's always something. So 360. And it should be. Yeah, because I had three, 375 in here last time. So 11, 3, 11, 3 should be um, 390. So we'll make sure that's what's in here. We don't want to shortchange a big dog. He deserves better than that. <laughs> don't tell him I said that. Okay, so we'll fix that so he'll have 390 in here. There we go. Okay, let's see. And I think we have $12. Yeah, $12 for my little 50 envelope challenge. Well, thought I had another 10. I don't, so no ASU today. Hey, I was already struck with big dog. I'm not, happy. I'm not quite sure what happened to my other 10. Anyway, so 12. So we should have. Oh my gosh, my phone's just going bonkers, you know? At the most inopportune time. All right. So let's see what we have in here. So here's my little calculator because I should have uh, 45 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12. That's right, $78. So let's get all this money together. Make sure I have it right. Okay. I have got my bills mixed up. Jeez. GG. Why well, am I so confused today? It's still early in the day, GB. Get it together. All right, let's see. All right, all right. All right. So I should have six, 78, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. Yep, $78. Woohoo! Got that right. Little by little, we'll be adding to this. And let's close down this Amazon no spin. No spin. 
<laughs> Gigi spinning. That's what's going on. That's all I'm saying. This is what I think I'm going to do. I'm thinking maybe the beginning of the year, I'm going to do another one of these. But what I'm also going to do is get an average of what I have spent. That, yeah. Get an average of how much I've spent in a month for 2023. Because that's telling me how much I would be saving for doing a month of no spend. Hmm? I should have done that to begin with. Um, because just to say no spend. Yeah, but what's, what's the payoff? I need a payoff, you know. For me to have a buy-in. You know, so I'm thinking, I want to see what I save this month. So let me tell you, they keep sending me those alerts. Hey, we got this. Hey, we got that. You want to buy this? This is done. Oh, stop the madness. But at least I did it. So that, that was an accomplishment. Let me do that. I'm thinking maybe January we'll do one. Huh? Yay! Let's go shopping. No, no. <laughs> Sorry, ASU, nothing today. So anyway, I think that's it. I hope I didn't chat too long. You know, I know, I know, not everybody wants to have a thirty-minute clip. You know, like I try to keep it short, but you know, Gigi, I just sometimes feel like I got things to say and just go on a tangent, and you know. You folks out here are so positive and give me positive feedback, positive energy, and I just want to continue to make that grow, you know. Because really, you know, I'm not, I haven't always been like that, you know. But I'm finding as I've gotten older, it's kind of like it doesn't have to be so freaking hard. Lighten up, like Big Dog says, lighten up. Yeah, right. You know, but really, it doesn't have to. You know, I used to say that, you know, it doesn't have to be so hard, partly because I think I was always being hard on myself. And I've learned, uh, don't do that. Uh, GG, you ain't got to do that. And so, it's like my girl is uh, pregnant right now. Mm, I'm so happy. And I, I tell her, you know, just enjoy the time. You know, you, you, like I was talking to her, we bought her talking, they message, you know. Kids don't call and talk anymore. I would love for them to call and talk. My, no, let me back up. My girl's really pretty good about that because we do a book club, so we talk usually once a month, and it'd be like a two-hour phone call. But we're FaceTiming. Love it. Uh, but it's like my boy, my son. It's like, call me. I want to hear your voice. That tells you know. That tells Gigi what's going on. You know how how is he really doing? But he does come out for the holidays, so I'm so looking forward to seeing him and his family. You know, his wife and uh, my little granddaughter. She's going to be, she's four and a half. She's going to be five years old. Oh, I'm so excited to see them. But anyway, you know, like I was telling my girl, you know, just enjoy your time. You know, it, it, it goes so fast and, you know, you just want to enjoy it. You know, you're going to have your bad days because like I was telling them, it's not always like a bowl of cherries. You know, life's not that way. You know, so anyway, I'm glad you joined me today. Ooh, look at my book's getting big. <laughs> you know, we are going to put. Hold on, hold on one second. Let me get my stuff together. We are going to put Roos Center Stage because he is the one. This guy right here who brought us some big money. Today. Now, how are you working for something? You stay focused. Remember, it's fearless Friday. You can be bold and brave, but you can be bold and brave every day because Gigi's pulling for you. Gigi knows that it's not always easy, but you hang in there. Tits up. Be strong. You got it. This one's for you. Cheers. And until next week, chat. Salute. See you. Tits up. Have a good week. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs.